Alright guys, I'm back and this alright guys I'm back and this is my WWE Raw review for the fourth of the year eleventh two thousand and thirteen and I thought this raw was a pretty bad show. We had a shitload of recaps this past week. We they recap big shows, lawsuit, they recapped um big show knocking out Orton last week, they recapped the White Family taking Punk and D Bryan. They recapped um a shitload of stuff. Um, the remember when I said last week in my raw review last week I said that WWE were really focusing on uh, building up for Survivor Series and actually making it feel like a big four pay per view. Um, well, they did that last week. They tried to they build up some few for Survivor Series last week, but we get to this week of uh, this last episode of Raw and no, except from the Big Show versus Orton match as fast as I guess they they bought that match, but apart from that, they haven't built up any more matches. I guess they they did they did some a bit of build for the white for the white family versus Punk and D Bryan um th uh, tag match at Savasis, but apart from that match, apart from those two matches, they haven't they didn't really build up that too that many matches for Savasis. So we open up Raw this week. Wait, we open up Raw with a match this week. So the first match tonight is Luke Harper versus Punk, and this is a real good match here. And this is probably the, this is probably the best um, Luke. This is probably the best um, White Family match I've actually enjoyed. Um, I thought this is a real good match, and this was the first singles match. Uh, Harper tries to go for a discus call time, but CM Punk um, it goes for the match of Marin Elbow. And, uh, CM Punk is a suicide dive on Harper, then Harper tries to hit this is close on, but then Punk counts that into a roll up for the win. So far, that was a pretty good match. Um, I mean, the, I mean, Luke Harper didn't look weak. I mean, he looked really strong in that in in the, in, in the match. Luke Harper, Luke Harper looked really strong in this match. He didn't, he didn't look weak at all, um, which was really good. I'm glad that WWE didn't make him look weak or anything like that. Then after the match, the Whites attack. Um, the Whites attack Punk. Then D. Brown comes out with a chair and makes a save. <coughs> then Punk and then Renee. And then we see a segment. Renee interviews Punk. Punk says that he, he's been in fight with Paul Heyman guy with Paul Heyman goons, and he says that he, he says he's got an issue with White family. Then we get Michael Cole interviewing Heyman. He, he was on the phone. He says, <laughs> "This was pretty funny. Actually, do you like this?" Uh, this segment is pretty good. Um, Heyman says that he's got a problem with his spine, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he ends up crying and stuff like that. <laughs> pretty funny stuff. Then, um, uh, then he says that they he says that the the fans and Punk owe Heyman an apology. So I don't know if the Dota, I don't know if Lesnar versus Punk is, is this view going to continue between Heyman and Punk, or is this done? I don't know, but let's hope it's done. Uh, then, we, so the second, then we see, so the second match tonight is Ryback vs. Kali. Not really much to this. Uh, Ryback hits Meat Hook. Uh, Ryback hits Meat Hook clothesline for the win. It was an okay match. <coughs> uh, then we, then the third match tonight is Kofi vs. W. This was a really good. This was a good match here. Kofi tries to go f um, f for. A, for the SOS, Daryl counts it into an armbar, uh, then counts it into an armbar, gets the win, and now it was a real good match. I thought it was a good match, uh, and, but it, again, it was another re rematch on SmackDown, so what do you expect? I mean, uh, it's another rematch on SmackDown. Like, why is the WWE creating all every single week on Raw or SmackDown? Have rematches from Raw? They put them on SmackDown. Any rematches from SmackDown, they put them on Raw. We had three SmackDown rematches. Kofi W was a SmackDown rematch. The six man tag match between the Real Americans and Sandow, the Real Americans and Sandow versus Cena, Goldust and Cody was a rematch from SmackDown. And the Divas six women tag match was a, a rematch from SmackDown as well. So just cut down on that as well. Then we then um, yeah W was a round bar. But Del Rio does hit an integrity, uh, does hit Kofi with an integrity, uh, then Kofi tries to go for an x like I said. Then we see, uh, th th then we see a recap of Big Show's lawsuit, and they recap this twice. Man, I don't know how many recaps we saw on the show, we saw a shitload. Like, 
they recapped um, Sandow losing money in the bank, <laughs> they recapped that as well. Like, they recapped a, a shitload. Like, I know like, you've got three hours to fill for Raw, but you don't have to have like freaking nine recaps to just fill up at one hour. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, showing the same freaking recap twice in one night is just too freaking bad. Like, really? Just to show the same recap twice? Like, man, cut down on those recaps. It's it's like it's like watching SmackDown, th th those recaps. Like, if I wanted to watch recaps, just watch freaking SmackDown. They show like freaking 10 in freaking 2 hours. So there we go. Just cut down on the recaps. And then we get, so the fourth match tonight is Orton vs Big E, the fans can vote on the WWE app if you want faces, the, the, uh, the options are Big E, Dolph and The Miz. And actually, some people shot me in this poll, like Miz got 13% in the poll and only Dolph got t 12, but really? Miz isn't even over with the crowd, so definitely that, that WWE app thing is, that, that WWE app, that voting thing for the WWE app is rigged anyway. But yeah, this was a real good match here. Biggie versus Orton was a real good match here, and I'm glad that WWE Creative team. Like I said this in my, I said this before in my Raw review, like a couple of months. Like I said this last month in my Raw review, I'm really liking how WWE Creative team point Biggie against main events like CM Punk, Jericho, and Dolph and guys like that. And I'm really glad that you know there's not automatically throwing him into World Title scene just yet. They're slowly building him up like like TNA doing with Magnus right now. So I'm glad how they just I'm glad how the Dodi Dodi Creative team uh, get uh, a point in Big E against against world champions like Orton uh, against Jericho against Punk. So I'm glad that uh, Big E's getting, uh, facing guys like that. The first match tonight was Tyson. It was a mixed tag match. Tyson Kidd and Natalia versus Fernando and Ray. Uh, not really much to this match. Tyson Kidd makes Fernando tap up to the short shooter. It's an okay match. Then we get a segment, segment stage, Renee interviews Sandow, Sandow says that he was stripped of his world title match. So it kind of looks like a survi uh, Survivor Series, we're going to have Cena vs. W, Cena uh, for Defenders. It's kind of like, it kind of looks like a Survivor Series, we're going to have a triple threat match between Cena, Sandow and Del Rio for the world title, which is good. I mean, I'm glad that you pointed Sandow in a feud with John Cena, I'm glad that they're not just burying John Cena. Dig, uh, not, not burying John Cena, sorry, burying Sandow like this. Dig, dig, dig. You remember you got buried last week on Raw, so I'm glad that, you know, that I hope that they put Sandow in the Triple Threat match as well. I don't, don't want to see Daryl versus the Cena again. To make that feud a bit, you know, make that match a bit refreshing is put Sandow in there and take Daryl at the World Title scene. Then we see, uh, then Zev comes off, he says that, he said that they're gonna when they say some time match tonight, and they said that they're gonna uh, get the title. They're gonna get a title shot. They're gonna win. They're gonna defeat Cody and Goddess and get the title shot um, in the future. Then uh, we then we get the six match tonight is a six man tag match. It's Goldie, uh, Goldie, Goldust and Cody, but and Cena versus the versus Real Americans and the Sandow. This was my favorite match on the show. I really enjoyed this six man tag match. I know it was a rematch from SmackDown, but it was a really good match. I mean, I know not a lot of, not a lot of people watch SmackDown. I do watch SmackDown, but if you didn't watch SmackDown, you don't need to watch SmackDown. Watch it. Watch the six-man tag match from Raw because it was fucking amazing. I mean, um, a couple of things we had in this match. Also, um, we had Cesaro hit a Cesaro swing on Goldust. Then Cody would hit a moonsault on on um, Sandow. Then. Um, uh, we were, and then Cena at the end we see and then at the end Cena hits a crossbody on uh, on um, Cesaro. Then as Goldust gets him up, hits a the, hits a final cutter for the win. So this was a real good match here, and I'm re uh, this was a fantastic match. My favorite match of the, of the night w was this six man tag match, and also we had W and, and Zevon commentary. So yeah, pretty good match here. I actually I did enjoy this uh, match. So if you didn't watch Raw, if you don't watch Raw yet, or you're not gonna watch Raw, please watch Raw for the six man tag, six man tag match between the Real Americans and Sandow versus Goldust and Cody, Goldust and Cody and, and Cena. Then we get a segment. Triple H says that Big Show's been banned for WWE. He, then Stephanie says that she, uh, she had to bring it, she, had, she had to bring him into. She said that uh, Stephanie says that she bring she's. 
brought Big Show back into the uh, into the arena. Uh, then we the seventh match of the night is Axel versus Dolph. This was an okay match. Really. Dolph is the could have went. Uh, nothing really much to this. Uh, so then we see a segment Renee interviews D. Brian D. Brian says that he's gonna he's gonna get some payback on the White family. Uh, the the eighth match tonight was a tag team match: the Usos versus 3MB, uh, McIntyre and Slater. Uh, this was an okay match. Uh, the Usos hits a hits a super kick and a double splash. For, hits a super kick and a splash for the win. It was an okay match. I didn't really care about uh, care about it that too much. <coughs> Then we get a segment, Renee tries to interview the Lost Mastodores, but the bull starts charging around Renee, then they just say all oh, that was a really yeah. The night match tonight was a it was a t another tag match. It was a six women's tag match a rematch from SmackDown. It was the Bellas and Eva Marie versus AJ, Tamina and Alexana. Not really much to this, um Eva Marie gets the win, whatever. I th they only put this match. I, I think they only put this match on Raw because of Total Divas on Sunday. They want to promote Total, D Total Divas one last time before it comes on Sunday. Cause oh yeah, cause Total Divas is coming on s Sunday. I am gonna watch Total Divas this time. Yes, I didn't watch that much of Total Divas in the first season, but in the second season I am gonna watch um, all the episodes of Total Divas uh, next season. So yeah, uh, on Sunday. Uh, the uh, then we see a segment. Uh, then it's the uh, then we see a segment. Trip, uh, we see a segment. Big, uh, Triple H calls out tri uh, Big Show. Then uh, Big Show says that he wants his job back. He says that he doesn't owe anybody any money. He says that he wants a world title match to survive the season against Randy Orton. Then Stephanie gives him his job back. Then Triple H um, says uh, Triple H doesn't. Triple H refuses him, uh, refuses, big, to, refuses Big Show to, uh, Triple H refuses b to give Big Show his title match, so then he says, oh, well, I'm going to sue you on WWE, then he goes, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, you can have your title match at Survivor Series, then, uh, so he comes down to the ring, so Triple H says that Survivor Series is going to be D-Rabbit, not d sorry, it's going to be Orton versus Big Show, then, for the WWE title, then, then he, he puts, well, Big Show into a kind of a match against the Shield and Orton, but they just start attacking him. Then Big Show fights off the Shield. Then Kane comes out. Uh, uh, well, well, the Shield attack um, uh, Big Show's chairs. Then Kane comes out with a suit. He uh, <laughs> looked really goofy. He looked kind of weird in a suit. I mean, uh, I don't know. Kind of looked weird. Corporation Kane. It looks kind of weird. Oh. Doesn't it was kind of weird? I mean, I mean all the shit they all all the stuff they've done with Kane over the years. This one is just weird. I think Kane in the corporation. Oh, uh, I don't know if that's gonna be good. But like I said, um, so Kane throws some chairs in the ring. Yeah, so the Shield start attacking Shield. The Shield don't then ta attack the Big Show. Then the Shield a triple power bomb Big Show through the announce table. Then Randy Orton just yells something at the Big Show. So yeah, that's how we ended Raw this week. Uh, I thought most of the show was kind of boring. A ton of recaps. Uh, only a couple of good matches on this last episode of Raw, which was good. It was the tag match was good? The six-man tag match between the uh, uh, between Goldust and Cody and Cena. Uh, the uh, Luke Harper versus CM Punk match was a real good match, and um, Kofi Del Rio was a good match too. So yeah. Three good matches on the show was pretty good, and Big E versus Orton was a good match too. So yeah, um, there are probably four big four matches were good on the show. Uh, what do you guys think about this? So that's my so that's my WWE review forty. So that's my WWE review forty forty for forty uh, fourth of the two thousand thirteen. What do you guys think about this um, show? Leave a comment in the comment section below, guys. And thanks for watching, guys. Right out.